Hey Scouts, my name is Alvin. I'm Bridget. And we're here to talk to you today about the Tiger Bank Adventure. We're going to go over requirement number one today. Now requirement number one talks about making good food choices between healthy foods and not so healthy foods. So Bridget, this banana, do you think it would be a healthy food or an unhealthy food? I think it might be a healthy food. I think you're right. Hmm, let's see. What do you think would be better? Heat for a snack would be an orange or a snack cake? Mmm. I think the orange would be a healthier choice. All right, bring with you. Ooh. Bridget, how about the chips? Would the chips be a good healthy food snack? Or would you rather have an apple? Even though I really like the cake chips, I know the apple is a better choice. I would oh. say healthy. Okay, I mean, you know, we have to stay hydrated too as we have our snacks. So, should I drink a soda? Or would you rather have a water? I'd rather have a water because I know if it's a really, really hot day out and I drink something that's full of sugar, I'm going to get more dehydrated. Okay. So, Scouts, we hope that you make good choices when you pick your snacks. Hey, Tiger Scouts. We're going to go over the proper technique about how to wash your hands. So, Alvin, when would be the best time you think you should wash your hands? Well, I think I should wash my hands maybe after I pet a dog or a cat, maybe before I get ready to eat a meal, or after I use the bathroom, or just maybe whenever I've been outside playing in the dirt and I get my hands dirty. I totally agree. Now, Alvin's going to show us the proper technique on how to wash your hands. Make sure that I've got plenty of soap and lather it up real good. Now I want to lather and wash all my hands for at least 20 seconds. Making sure I'm getting all my fingers, between my fingers, the back of my hands, the palm of my hands. Now, to make sure that you get the 20 seconds, you can sing happy birthday twice, and that should be about 20 seconds. And then I want to make sure the rinse off good, get all the soap off from them and then make sure we dry real good. Mm. So, scouts, make sure that you do a good job washing your hands. Hey, Tiger Scouts, we're ready for requirement three. Now, requirement three is kind of confusing. It talks about the difference between a fruit and a vegetable. Do you know the difference between a fruit and a vegetable? Well, Bridget, yeah. I get confused on that sometimes. Now, the book says that both fruits and vegetables come from plants, but a fruit grows from a flower and has seeds in it. Well, what is a vegetable? Well, a vegetable does not have seeds in it. Okay. So, this potato comes from the root of a plant, but it has no seeds in it, so it is a vegetable. Oh, okay. What about the broccoli? Well, the broccoli has no seeds, so once again, it's a vegetable. What about the apple, Bridget? Well, I know if I cut my apple in half, it is full of seeds in the middle. So that makes it a... It's a fruit. A fruit. Now, you know... I love bananas, but I did not realize that bananas are full of little seeds down them. So that makes them a fruit also. Yes, it does. Okay. How about the orange? Yes, oranges. When I peel an orange and I open it up, there's always these little white seeds all through it. So once again, it is a fruit or, or cauliflower is a vegetable. So, Tigers, I hope you understand and have a better grasp of fruits and vegetables than what we had. Okay, Tiger Scouts, 
we're going to map up the Tiger Bites adventure with requirement number six. And on requirement number six, we're going to plan and make a good snack for you to share with your den. Now remember, when we're sharing a snack with our den, we need to be aware of our food, friend's food allergies. Okay, now we have a few items here that we have brought out of a pre-packaged trail mix that we have purchased. And we're gonna show you a few items on it, but remember, you can make your own also. What are some items we have here? Where in our pre-made trail mix we have banana chips, apricots, dried pineapples, raisins. Oh, and I see a walnut and did I see almonds. So if you're making your own, you can put pretty much anything you want to and we're gonna go over a few items of that also. Now, you may want to put something sweet in like M&Ms or chocolate covered raisins. Oh, I especially love yogurt covered raisins. Oh, yes. And, you know, we could use pretzels. Or popcorn. Oh, popcorn would be good. Uh, how about sunflower seeds? Oh, I love sunflower seeds. Okay. So you could just let your imagination go on this and pick out pretty much anything you want. And another good thing, Bridget, if they make their own, they can take what they like the best and load it down with that. Oh, okay. 